Imagine a video game ultimate weapon that erases the entire map. In the 1950s, one scientist tried to build that outside the game. His name was Edward Teller. His idea, Project Sundial, a single bomb equal to 10 billion tons of TNT. Picture a tower of TNT stretching from the ground to the edge of space. That's Sundial, squeezed into one warhead. Why invent such madness? Fear. The Cold War arms race made superpowers chase ever bigger nightmares. The Soviet Union's 1949 bomb shocked America. Suddenly, nuclear war felt inevitable. It became a deadly high-score contest, each side leveling up with stronger weapons. Teller had already forged the hydrogen bomb, but he dreamt of a finale, one blast to end all wars. His logic, build a bomb so terrifying no one would dare attack, an apocalypse on standby. Sundial wouldn't be flown to enemies. It would sit in America's backyard like a cosmic self-destruct button. Message received, hurt us or our allies and we kill everyone, ourselves included. Detonation math, fireball wider than a metropolis. Everything inside 400 kilometer ignites instantly. Shock waves, magnitude nine quakes, debris shot into space, the sound circles Earth three times. Then comes nuclear winter, sunlight blocked, global temps drop 10 degrees, harvests fail, billions starve. Even US generals balked. Project Sundial was too insane, stamped, rejected, and shelved. Sundial asks a chilling question. What happens when brilliance outruns humanity? Today, thousands of smaller nukes remain. Together, they equal many sundials. The risk lives on. Science is a tool. It can build or destroy. The choice is always ours. Let's choose creation. Subscribe for more stories that turn knowledge into wisdom.